Unique ways to expand your network. How yard sales can connect you with your local community. Whether you're moving into a new area or have just had a hard time connecting with people where you live, finding a community can be a challenging endeavor that comes with its own complications. Often you meet people through other people, so building your network can be especially difficult if it feels like you're starting from square one. Fortunately, other people aren't the only way to start building the branches in your community tree, at least not directly. There are certain events that just spark community, and that can be a jumpstart for the connections that you want to build and nurture. One of the events is our favorite event of all time, the Humble Yard Sale. With a sense of community painted on every step of the process, yard sales can be great ways to connect with people near you. Learn more about your neighborhood, your neighbors, and how to get more involved with your community in general. Let's take a closer look at how this works. Building connections in your community. By virtue of the yard sale, participating in a yard sale event almost requires you to become invested in your community. If you're planning by yourself, you'll have to do some research on what your neighbors do for a living when they're in and out of town and what their interests are. All just to make sure you'll actually have any guests around to shop and any items they'll find valuable enough to stop by for in the first place. Although yard sales are often more decluttering efforts than businesses, it's still important to know your audience, and in this case, that means knowing your community. On the other hand, if you're planning on joining an already regular community-wide yard sale event, that means setting up and being around your community anyway. Your neighbors and other community members coming into your shop and checking out your items is a great way to strike up a conversation and get to know what's happening around the block. Regardless of how you approach it, learning how to host a garage sale will bring you one step closer to expanding your network and getting to know your block at the very least. Exploring what's around you. Learning how to yard sale isn't the only way to put this community-oriented plan into practice either. Rather than having neighbors come to you if planning isn't really your thing or just not in the books for now, Going out to yard sales and exploring the neighborhood is another great way to expand your network. Again, there are two possibilities. First, if it's a community-wide sale, you have the great opportunity to go out and meet a ton of people in your community and learn a bit about what everyone does and how everyone fits into the neighborhood. Whether your networking efforts are personally motivated or more professionally motivated, this is a great opportunity to make connections. Second, it might not be a community-wide sale, and that's okay too. Maybe it's just one family having a yard sale or one part of the block. Or it might even be a yard sale outside the neighborhood, just a short drive away. All of these are still good options to go and build your network, especially because the conversation and connections to make have the chance to be more memorable and intimate. With a community sale, sellers might be ready to gloss through conversations just to make it through the day. Depending on if the seller learned how to prepare for a yard sale though, there might not be many visitors for them to talk to throughout the day. This makes your interaction that much more memorable and could potentially add a strong connection to your network. Plus, of course, you might find some fantastic steals in the process. The heart and soul of the yard sale. The driving point here is that a yard sale is first and foremost a community event. All secondhand shopping is a great time, but this is what sets yard sales, garage sales, and similar sales apart from things like thrifting and other secondhand activities. One way or another, a yard sale is an event for and by your neighborhood, your neighbors, your community, and the people who share space with you. Networking can be a difficult task in general, especially if it's approached with the sole intention of creating certain types of relationships. However, it's important to remember that networks can also develop naturally, and this happens much more easily when the foundation for the connections is already set. In this case, simply learning about how to have a successful yard sale sets you on the path to building community connections and settling these foundations. By researching your community and engaging in meaningful conversations during your own and others' garage sales, you lay the groundwork for building relationships. Moreover, 
Actively participating in community events and being present for your neighbors can demonstrate that you're not only interested in yard sale bargains, but also in contributing positivity to your community. So whether it's for networking or other community-related endeavors, the yard sale can play a vital role in nurturing connections and strengthening the sense of community. Long live the yard sale!